As healthcare professionals, we use pulse oximeters to measure blood oxygen saturation levels for all of our patients. The information that the pulse oximeters give us on oxygen saturation informs virtually all of the decisions we make for patients coming into hospital with respiratory conditions. What we're learning, however, is that this information has limitations and pulse oximeters can make errors which particularly affect people with darker skin tones. Hi, my name is Andrew Fogarty and I'm a respiratory consultant in Nottingham. My name is Aretti Adijamo and I'm a respiratory trainee based in Nottingham. To start with, some background. Pulse oximeters work by passing infrared beams through a translucent tissue, usually a finger or an earlobe, and measuring the difference in absorption of those beams between oxygenated and deoxygenated haemoglobin. We know that the higher levels of melanin found in more pigmented skin can affect this measurement. An important American study published in 2020 compared the gold standard as measured by arterial blood gases with the oxygen saturation measured by pulse oximetry. They looked for what they called hidden hypoxemia, which is defined as the pulse oximeter giving a reading of equal to or more than 92% oxygen saturation, while the true reading from the arterial blood gas was less than 88%. They found that hidden hypoxemia was present in 6% of people with white skin, but in those with black skin, it was present in 17%. In other words, black skinned people were almost three times as likely to have hidden hypoxemia than white people. During the height of the COVID pandemic, we conducted a study comparing pulse oximeter measured blood oxygen saturations to arterial blood gas measured blood oxygen saturations in patients admitted with COVID. We found that if a person's blood oxygen saturations were below 90%, pulse oximeters gave an estimate of the blood oxygen saturation that looked better than the true reading, which was measured on an arterial blood gas. We also found that similar to the American study, the discrepancy between blood oxygen saturations measured by pulse oximetry and arterial blood gas was higher in people who were black or of Southeast Asian origin. We then asked whether this could have led to a delay in escalation to intensive care. We found that the median blood oxygen saturations measured by pulse oximeters were 94% on arrival to intensive care regardless of skin colour. In other words, guided by pulse oximetry alone, people referred to intensive care had roughly the same level of blood oxygen saturations. However, we found that individuals who had darker skin had higher respiratory rates on arrival to intensive care, meaning that they were sicker. And then we looked at their arterial blood gas, the true oxygen saturation as measured by the arterial blood gas was actually lower in people with darker skin compared to those from white ethnic groups. So the implication of this is despite pulse oximetry suggesting that everybody had a similar level of oxygenation, in reality, people with darker skin had lower oxygen levels and were more unwell with higher respiratory rates at the point of admission to intensive care than white people. So to summarise, we have found that pulse oximetry overestimates blood oxygen saturations in people with true oxygen saturations less than 90% as measured by an arterial blood gas. This error is greater in people who are black or of Southeast Asian origin than in people who have white skin. Worryingly, this may already have led to people who have black skin and people who are of Southeast Asian origin arriving in intensive care with lower blood oxygen levels than people who have white skin during the COVID-19 pandemic. Taking everything into consideration, these data suggest that every clinical decision that uses a pulse oximeter could discriminate against patients with non-white skin. For patients with COVID, this included decisions on whether they needed to be admitted to hospital, whether they needed steroid tablets or antibody therapies, how closely we monitored them and how quickly we escalated them for transfer to intensive care. So what can we do about it? In the short term, we can do what we're doing now, which is sharing the knowledge that pulse oximeters can overestimate blood oxygen saturations and that this is going to be a particular problem for people who have darker skin. In practice, we need to pay careful attention to other signs of how unwell a person might be, such as looking at their respiratory rate, and if in doubt, do an arterial blood gas. 
In the longer term, we need to wait for technology firms to build in ways for correcting for this error. But obviously, it will take time for this to become available. If you found this video interesting and would like to read more about this research, we've put the links and references in the text below. We'd also appreciate it if you can share this with anybody else who you think may benefit from watching it. Thank you very much for your time.